Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this section, we're going to talk about decimals. And we're just going to add decimals, we're going to subtract decimals, we're going to multiply and divide decimals. So let's start with the addition and the subtraction. It's pretty easy. Uh, let's say for an example, uh, we want to add 12.53 plus uh, 2.18. And the way that we add decimals and the way that we subtract decimals, the trick is to line up all the decimals. So usually when you're adding numbers, uh, you line them up vertically, right? 12.53 and 2.18. The trick with adding decimals is that the decimals and each number have to be lined up. When you add all of your numbers together, the decimal in your final result will also be in that line. Other than that, it's just like adding uh, two big numbers. So, uh, 8 plus 3 is 11, carry the 1. Uh, 1 plus 5 plus 1 is 7. 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus 0 is 1. So we got 12.53 plus 2.18 equals 14.71. And that's our answer. Now, of course, it won't always be given to you in a form where you have equal number of decimals places in uh, each of your numbers. So you could have something like 3.5 plus 11.91. Um, now, if this is the case, uh, what you can do is write down your numbers, line up the decimals vertically, and if you see any gaps on the right-hand side uh, behind the decimal place, you can just fill it with a zero. So, we're going to add those two numbers together. The decimal places are lined, or the decimals are lined up. So now it just becomes a problem where we're just adding two numbers. So zero times one is one. Five times nine is fourteen. Carry the one uh, over here. You get a fifteen, and that's your answer. Uh, this could, of course, be done with more than uh, two numbers, for example. Uh, and why don't you give it a shot, too? Um, 1.2 plus 3.48 plus 5.91. Why don't you try to add all three of those together? See if you can do it. It's a challenge. So? All you really have to do is make sure all your decimals are lined up. 1.2, 3.48, 5.91. All the decimals are lined up. When we add these three numbers together, uh, your decimal and your answer is going to be down here. If you'd like, you can fill in any empty spaces with zeros to the right of the decimal. <coughs> then you're just adding three numbers like you normally would. Uh, 8 plus 1 is 9. Let's see, you add those three numbers and you get 15, I believe. Carry the 1, 2, 5, it looks like you get a 10. 10.59 is the sum of those three um, decimals. Great. Subtraction is really the same thing. Um, let's do it again. 121.5 minus 3.92. Again, the trick is the same. You line up the decimals. 121.5, 3.92. If you want, fill in any gaps with zeros. And then you subtract like you would subtract any two numbers, uh, which involves borrowing, I guess. Uh, let's see. 4 minus 9, you have to borrow again. Uh, that's a 5. I'm surprisingly bad at subtraction for a math teacher. Um, borrow again. 10 minus 3 is 7. Um, and then your 11 minus 0 is just 11. So that should be your final answer. And I'll be checking this with the calculator, uh, to be honest, uh, when this video is over. Um, so there you go. Why don't you try uh, one more subtraction on your own and see how you do. 28.531 minus 2.1. Give that subtraction a shot. Hit pause on your, on your video and uh, see how you do.
So again, line up your decimals. 28.531, line up the decimal, put it right there, 2.1. Fill in any gaps with zeros if you like, and subtract. Oops, one minus zero, one, three minus zero is three, five minus one is four, uh, eight minus two is six, two minus zero. So there you go. There's an answer for you. Um, in the next video, we're going to be talking about multiplying decimals.